Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. Um, got a couple of uh, packages in the mail. One from mycomicshop.com um, and one from Midtown Comics. It came at the same time. Um, so first, uh, the first one I'm actually not going to unbox on camera. Um, the one that came from mycomicshop.com. Um, this one is actually a package for Phil, uh, the Captain Cummings. His birthday was uh, last month, actually, and on his um, birthday, um, I think it was a Saturday, he was on Skype. Um, I knew his birthday was coming up. Anyways, he ended up being on Skype, and I was talking to him. I'm like, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna get you something for uh, your birthday. So it was actually right on his birthday uh, is when I ordered these, and I think, it, I think it was like the 30th or something like that of um, May. It was late May. I think it was a Saturday, anyways. But yeah, anyways, uh, Bud, I knew you, um, you You knew one comic book that was coming to you. Um, and surprise, uh, I actually got something else in here for you. Um, I'm going to open it up, make sure it's safe and, and inspected. It was another low-grade comic, but uh, hopefully it's good enough for you and, and you like it. So um, I wanted something to be a surprise for you. Uh, and I actually got a little uh, doodle that I'll be sending um, along with with this as well, so I'll inspect it, um, and it had to come to me first. Uh, your first orders on uh, mycomicshop.com had to be shipped to your billing address for your credit card. Um, so now, if I make um, future purchases for friends, um, I'll be able to forward them to their uh, addresses directly too. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be cool. So watch uh, the Captain Cummings channel if you guys want to know what uh, his birthday present is. Hopefully he'll show it. I'm sure he will. Um, and I'm sure he'll um, enjoy those comic books too. Um, so I've already kind of prepared myself. Um, don't really feel like doing doodles at the moment like I usually do. Um, perhaps I'll add one in this video later. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but one came from Midtown um, and thankfully and uh, um, I'm, I'm thankful that they added tape again. Um, so thank you Midtown for continuing to do that, adding tape on these envelopes because that certainly does help. Um, and they added some extra cardboard for support. So let's open up the package. Let's see what I got. Here's the bag. I do like their bags. Got some new and old stuff. So let's just start randomly showing you what I got. Okay. Looks like an okay cover. Um, but here is the Amazing Spider-Man um, annual number 39. I'm kind of disappointed already getting this one because I haven't heard very many good uh, comments and reviews on it so um, that's gonna kind of suck because I could have spent my you know four bucks on, on something else uh, an older back issue or something like that but um, yeah it's a Spider-Man issue it'll be okay but I hear it's nothing extraordinary nothing really worth worth the money actually and it looks like it wasn't written by Dan Slott or anything so sad but uh okay looking cover better better seeing the cover in person actually um than than just pictures um actually really like the sketch here as he's fading away Go, it goes from colors to inks to pencils on the legs that's actually looks really cool okay wolverine and the x-men issue number 11 uh, love this Wolverine series. Uh, this is a really nice looking um, um, cover as well too. The Red Hulk, um, you know, smashing some Iceman, uh, Bobby. Um, and I've been really missing out. Again, I don't have much money to buy as many comics as I used to, so I've been really missing out on all the Red Hulk stuff. Um, so I'm, I haven't been able to collect it for a while. So it'll be enjoyable to see... Uh, what the Red Hulk has to do in in this one. So that's uh, Wolverine and the X-Men number 11. Written by Aaron. Looks like pencils by Bradshaw, which, which are pretty good. It fits. This is a beautiful cover. I really like this cover. Again, something that looked really great on... Um, something that looked really great in the pictures, but this is a fabulous painted cover. 
The Incredible Hulk, issue 8, Stay Angry. This has been a pretty good um, run, I think. Uh, again, this is written by Jason Aaron. Uh, I'm loving his works. Jason Aaron is, is fabulous on his titles. But that is an amazing cover. Hulk and the Punisher. Incredible. So I'm going to enjoy that one. Hulk, 50th Smash Anniversary. S Smash Aversary. Actually, it says there. <laughs> Sounds really cool. So, uh, just kind of getting my fill of Hulk this way, but again, I, I ha do miss reading the Red Hulk stuff. Um, this one, not so sure. This one's an okay cover. Wolverine issue 307. Um, going back, uh, this storyline, fighting Dr. Rot, I think his name is. And that was a character that was established in the... Uh, what series was it? Wolverine... The newer Weapon X series? What was it called? I can't remember now. My mind's drawing a blank. Um, but while the the dark Wolverine... You know, and uh, um, Dawkin took over Wolverine series and new series began. And I think it was Wolverine Weapon X. Um, but anyways, yeah, he... Uh, Dr. Rot came from that one. Uh, the other Samney covers were kind of real trippy, um, kind of crazy. This one kind of looks more normal, but still a lot of blood and creepy. <laughs> so uh, I'm not quite sure about that that cover artist, but kind of better than the other covers I've seen, actually, in, in my opinion, just, just my taste. Okay, this one's going to be a great read. Um, I've been hearing some, I don't know, kind of disappointments. Some people are having fun, but kind of some disappointments at the same time. Um, and I'm hoping to have more fun at this one uh, than some others may have. Round 5 of Avengers vs. X-Men. And most people are disappointed or kind of, I don't know, Disappointed, yeah, about this this Phoenix Five <laughs> thing where the Phoenix Force uh, splits. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll read. I'll try to give my opinion in a, in a future video or a podcast, whenever. Um, but yeah, Phoenix Five. I'm looking forward to actually reading this, and I'm I'm hoping. So far, I'm having uh, just a lot of fun in this um, reading this series. I'm really enjoying it. And the only ones I'm getting is Avengers vs X Men the event comic and the versus comic. I'm not getting any of the other times. Well, I mean, besides whatever's from, uh, you know, in Wolverine or whatever. Um, this one is going to be fabulous to read, too. Um, I haven't heard anything bad, really, um, except a little bit from Ma, uh, 0001. Um, he wasn't as, you know, astonished, uh, by it as others. He says he's just not really feeling it. Um, but I think this is going to be really cool. Um, here it, it, you know, kind of establishes the, the world of the Minutemen um, and the, it sounds like the storytelling and art by Darwin Cook um, really fits the, the period for the Minutemen. Um, so this one, it's going to be a lot of series. I think it's seven series. I'm hoping to get all of them in the singles. Um, it's very mature. Um, so I'm hoping to really have a lot of fun with, with this series and all the other um, series as well. But fabulous cover. Um, I think there were some variants, but this one was... I think I like the most. And the Avengers vs. X-Men covers, I mean, unless it's a really, really good cover, um, I'll just continue getting the regular covers because it has the AR. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'll show this one first. This one is a cover, too, that uh, Maul... Uh, uh, 0001 will really like. Uh, we discussed this a little while ago uh, when he had a video where he showed his, uh, I, I believe he showed his Savage Savage Dragon issue number one. And this is um, issue 220 of Spawn, the 20th anniversary, um, which pays homage to uh, the Savage Dragon number one. Uh, the regular cover I did not pick up because it was just Spawn holding up, you know, two giant numbers, two, zero, um, you know, 20th. And that, to me, it, it seems to be 
Todd's thing with his anniversary issues uh, to be holding up, having his character hold up these giant numbers or have a giant number on the issue, but him holding up the 20th anniversary numbers was way too similar to the issue 200 normal cover where, or Todd's cover where he was holding up the number 200. Incredibly the same, I mean, and that was only 20 issues ago, so I didn't feel like picking up um, that regular issue. But I really do think this was like one of the best covers to it, so I'm going to enjoy reading this one, I think. Um, and I believe, let me see something here. It's supposed to be the supposed return of uh, Todd McFarlane on, um, on writer and plot. Yeah, it says here. But if we had looked at previous issues, um, he was actually writing under a uh, um, pseudonym um, Will Carlton, and there's just kind of like this hoax that he was doing. Um, he was actually writing since 185, and then I think it was somewhere 201 came um, Will Carlton, and uh, there was a bit of news buzz about it, but a lot of people also didn't care or notice. But yeah, it was kind of a Todd McFarlane hoax thing about changing his name. Um, and this one too, this one's beautiful. I'm going to love looking at this one. This one is the 20th Anniversary Collector's Special of uh, issue number 200. It's going to be great looking. I think there's some differences between the, the interiors as well, um, or some extra pages or something, but this is the um, limited. Um, supposedly there's only um, 2,500 of these uh, printed. So when I made this order, I pre-ordered. As soon as I saw it on there, I, I based my order all around this book, actually, um, and got this one. Um, and I don't think many people knew that it was limited, but all the solicitations that I was reading, this was this particular book is only limited to 2,500 copies. And I only got it for like four, four bucks. So uh, I'm really happy to get uh, that limited edition, at least. That's really cool. If I like what's inside, maybe I'll show you guys some interiors of that in a, in a future video. Ah, wonderful, 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 wonderful! And some uh, two uh, old books to show you guys here. Um, and they look great. Uh, one's in very good condition, one's in fine. Issue number five of Commandy. Look at that, him. Uh, Commandy versus a club wielding gorilla. <laughs> I love I love these Kirby issues. I'm just crazy about Commandy now. Uh, really really good read. Really good art. Uh, the last issue um, that I read, issue four, Commandy was reading. Um, uh, was it the Demon comics, which was a character I believe was another character created by Jack Kirby. Um, so that was kind of neat. Um, we have really great, love reading these ones, and uh, actually have an order of more coming in. And here's issue number six. That is awesome too. Just great covers, great art, love them. So I have a bunch uh, that I found for actually really cheap. I made another order for for myself personally on uh, my comic shop dot com. Um, so it'll probably come in in uh, I don't know two weeks, probably maybe almost three weeks by the time it actually uh, ships out. But yeah, so that's my uh, order, you guys. Uh, let me guys uh, know what you thought about them. I've already heard lots about um, you know some of the new stuff, the Minutemen and Avengers vs X Men. Uh, but if you guys want to know anything more about uh, some stuff you might not have seen on the internet, uh, yeah. Let me know. I'll talk about that. Uh, but yeah, please leave your comments below. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.